Transfix, this is Sander van Dien from First Date. I'm good, thank you, thank you. I worked on my uh, new mix compilation, The Whole Nine Yards, that got released a few days ago, and I'm really busy working on my follow-up for Maze, because that track got released two weeks ago, and it's uh, doing very well in the Progressive House charts. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty busy in the studio, doing uh, actually a big remix for uh, a big American star. You wouldn't expect me to remix her, but I'm actually doing it. <laughs> so, uh, more news on that soon. Maze is a uh, song by Tyler Sherrod. I uh, we made the track together. Uh, Tyler is an Alaskan uh, vocalist, and he actually was one of the finalists for America Got Talent. You know that show? Oh, you should know that show, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh, how I got to know him. And uh, actually, we uh, we had contact via his management. And uh, after that, we made the track Maze, and it uh, yeah, it's already a, a club smasher actually. Well, the whole nine yards is like uh, it's based on uh, going full length, going to depth, no no regrets, leaving everything behind and go full frontal, and that's that's what uh, the compilation is about. I actually uh, left my tra trans roots a little bit behind and um, started on a new adventure. It's like um, I uh, I use a lot of progressive house tracks, and um, that's actually the direction I want I want to go from now, and um, yeah. That's why I chose the whole nine yards. Yeah, I think Fed Le Grand Metrum is one of my favorites. And of course Maze. It's uh it's my own track and yeah, it's actually part of a, a period in my life and I actually yeah. I like the track a lot. Well, the first day sound is, is mostly based on a nice breakdown, but it, it brings back a heavy kick, bass drum, and a lot of bass. Well, time frame was like, as it says, a time frame into music. It was the time where uh, In Search of Sunrise still was like In Search of Sunrise. It, it's it's part of that whole vibe where um, yeah where trans was still trans and everybody's moving away from it and I I think trans isn't about um, being locked into a style it's about having pretty melodies with like some rawness in, into the dance part of the track because that's what it's all about making dance music nowadays.
I want to reach the fucking top. I want to be the number one DJ of the world, and that's what I'm working for. The Sound of a Need name, I, I use the tracks that I release under that name is, are more experiments. And my last one was Aurora. I actually only released two tracks. The, the first one was actually in 2004, and the last one was two years ago, Aurora. So yeah, it's it's more experimental stuff, but I think like uh, I will release a new one like uh, in a few months on my own label, First Day Music. The main aim for the label is to get me as many tracks that I like and that I can play in my radio show and gigs and etc. And I want to actually, I got a few guys that... Um, are really talented. I got the Craving guys, I got Jason from White from South Africa and a few more and that's that's what I want to do is scouting talent because it's not only about um, getting the hits and stuff. I also want to give people the opportunity to become a legend and not uh, making music in their bedroom and it stays like that, you know? You know, I, I, I did like three, four lessons and I, I put a lot of money in it and at the end I was like, fuck it, I'm going to make music. <laughs> it's, it's what I'm good at and I'd rather pay people to do my web design. <laughs> Everybody has to do what he's good at, right? The thing is, being a label boss, being a producer, being a DJ is... I am my job, so I love what I'm doing, so I, my hobby is making music, so that's what I'm doing full time, and that's about it. It sounds boring, but it's freaking amazing. <laughs> so wherever you come, whatever you do, whoever you choose, I'll always stand by you. You know, honestly, I can tell you this now on the camera, I, I puked like three times. I was so freaking nervous. Because, actually, even Tiesto thought I played already, and I didn't. It, I never saw a club from that side, and, well, it freaking rocked that night, after my puking, of course, but it was, it was a good night, and I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't expect anything, be surprised. I'm, I'm always thinking about what can I improve to my sets and what can I do better and get a proper flow. I don't mix in key, I just mix what sounds right and it's all about flow. That's it. I don't wanna, you know, it's not fucking math what we're doing, it's not algebra, it's, you know, it has to feel, feel good, sound right and that's what I'm doing. Straight from the heart. I don't want to like sound like a prick here, but yeah. I mean, how many people can say that they do what they love? I mean, I worked as an IT worker, and one day, I, and that's what a lot of people like to do, I told my boss to beep off. And that's what I did. And it was two years that I had to like really get this, to get my sound down. But after that, it, uh, it went well. That's why I'm here now, right? Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the interview, and if you uh, got some time, check out my Facebook page, uh, First Day Music, and um, listen to my radio show every week, you will be surprised.